Welcome to OTDV8 Fixes. Today I'm going to make a, a, a diagnose on a, a FPH. Uh, it is working, but uh, honestly, it has never been done in my 2009 uh, uh, Range Rover Sport TDV8. And uh, yeah. Uh, what is interesting, I have just disconnected my nice uh, uh, preheater controller of the FPH. I am I have connected uh, this to 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 the W bus cable and to the battery. And uh, yeah, uh, what I would like to say, I have been advised by the, the supplier of this cable that uh, you should not use the the, the latest driver of windows otherwise it would damage uh, the chip and uh, i have been advised to use the uh, driver version uh, 2.08.30 and not a newer one for that, if you, you should look for this uh, driver on, on the internet and you should install the, uh, it before connecting the cable. And um, when you connect the cable the first time, you should not have internet connection uh, to avoid an actualization. Uh, otherwise, it would damage the chip of, of, of the cable, communication cable. That's what I have been advised. I, I prefer to do it instead to risk uh, to 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 get it damaged. By the way, uh, if you are having any issue trying to connect it uh, to your FBA using uh, this uh, diagnose software, um, before you think that the W bus of your FBA is not working properly, you should check the settings of uh, the communication port of your PC uh, where you are connecting uh, your USB adapter. Uh, there are some settings that I am using um, that I would like to share with you. Maybe it could be the case, it could be the, the reason why you are not getting uh, communication. So. Um, Bytes per second, I'm using 1800. Data bits 8, parity no one. Stop bits 1. And uh, if we go further in the, in the settings here, uh, in advanced uh, settings, uh, you should set your communication between 1 and 4 and uh, not higher than that. Uh, received and send bytes. I'm using 4096 and uh, waiting time I have moved to one millisecond. Um, I think it was set originally to 16 milliseconds uh, and uh, I got problem with that. It was not working. So uh, after trying sometimes I, I, I changed it to one and it works fine. So I would recommend you to also do that. And uh, the minimal uh, uh, time uh, reading and, and writing timeout, uh, I think it was a red zero, you can live like that. And uh, yeah, if you are having any issue trying to communicate it, check your settings, maybe uh, it could be the case, like it was also for me. Now, just to show you in details how to start the software and diagnose. So, you should look for WBUS, okay? Then you, you start a system diagnosis. Okay, so you have already the supply voltage, the temperature. The car was already warm, the coolant was warm and uh, you have no faults and then just by control you start the heater and uh, yeah that's it 
yeah it's a red glowing and uh, starting glowing power yeah now the fuel pump started yeah it's doing well some smoke coming look okay it's really running very nice no smoke really 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 nice the temperature rise is uh, it's quite hot 90 degrees yeah It's working very nice.